The man is going to have a baby. The woman took off the man's pants. He's going to have a baby. The woman has scissors and doesn't know what to do. The woman throws away the scissors. She told the man to push. The man was in so much pain, he couldn't speak. At that moment, a ball of something popped out of the man's mouth. It rolled to the floor. It hits the door, knocks over the chair. The woman picks it up, and his head shows up. The two of them hug the little monster with joy. The woman and the kubo play finger to finger. The little monster spits at the woman. It's so cute. Just the other day, the little monster's mom was being chased by a big monster to protect the little monster from being killed with her. It cut open its belly. She took the baby monster and put it into this man's body. And then he was killed by the monster. The little monster's mother sat before she died. The little monster's name was Kuba. Kuba became a family with this man and woman. It played with its parents. Slowly they became attached to each other. Kuba is locked in a cage. He's long for his father to open the cage. Take him away. But the father is gone. He's a monster. He can't live with humans. Kuba cried out in grief. <laughs> it was to be made into food for humans. The cook put him in the frying pan. But after a while, he was playing happily in the frying pan. The hot oil burned the cook. The cook put it in the pot to boil. But it opened the pan. It flew around the house. And the pieces of the pot stabbed the cook. The cook had to let the people eat the living Kuba. And that's when it happened. The parents were so worried about him. They came back to save him. His father was stabbed with a sword. Kuba pulled out the sword. But he cut his own finger. Kuba was saved. For his safety. His parents? They let him go with his companions. They were reluctant to let him go. But it can't be helped. He didn't want to go. His father made a flame with his sword. Kuba cried and left with his companions. He missed his parents, so he came to Earth to look for them. On the way, he met children. They all wanted to take the little monster. Luckily, a monster brother helped him. He hid himself from the children. Brother monster gave him food. Jack threw it away. One day, Kuba was walking along the road. He turned around and met his parents. They darted over to embrace. His mother and father were very happy, but Kuba cried aloud. He missed his parents so much. 